Let's play around with Reddit MCP node. You simply need to describe what you want this node to do. You can specify the prompt and they've given some example prompts here. I'll specify get the top 10 posts from the input subreddit along with their details like upvotes, comments, etc. I'll click on generate. It'll generate the code and set up a custom node for us the way we want. So here you can see the node configuration input is subreddit. You can sort by hot, new, top, controversial, rising, and then how many posts you want. This is the parameter that we have to provide. That's it. I'll click on generate code now, run the test. The node is currently running, evaluating different strategies. And there we go. We've got these top posts. Last step, save this node. And there you go. All right, no code automations are spreading like fire, but there's still a lot of people who do not understand how to create these nodes, how to connect them, how to get everything out. And a good step in the right direction is MCP based nodes, where you just simply have to specify in English what you want this node to do. It will code up that node just like Lovable codes out an application for you. And that's it. All you have to do is just connect with the right MCP server. If you want to do something with Reddit, with Gmail, with GitHub, with HubSpot, you can do that. You just specify what you want in plain English. It'll spin up a node that will perform and behave the way you want it to. So let's look at how I have been able to spot trends from subreddit using the Reddit MCP node from Gumloop. All right, here I am in a blank canvas on Gumloop. I'll open up the node library and there are a bunch of MCP nodes that they have added here. And let's play around with Reddit MCP node. And you can see, create a Reddit node with AI. So this is an MCP node and obviously I've created a bunch of these before. So I'll just, you know, open up Reddit MCP and here, you simply need to describe what you want this node to do. You can specify the prompt and they've given some example prompts here. I'll specify get the top 10 posts from the input subreddit along with their details like upvotes, comments, etc. That's it. There are a bunch of MCP tools that are available within this MCP nodes. These would allow us to perform these types of actions like get Reddit post details, uh, retrieve Reddit posts, so on and so forth. I'll click on generate and this will give us the configuration. And once we agree, once we confirm that this configuration for this node looks fine, it'll generate the code and set up a custom node for us the way we want. So here you can see the node configuration input is subreddit. You can sort by hot, new, top, controversial, rising, and then how many posts you want. This is the parameter that we have to provide. That's it. I'll click on generate code now. So you can see here, this is the code that the system is writing for us. This is the canvas. Great. All right. Now I just simply need to specify just to like test this node out. I'll specify the subreddit select an option, let's say top post number 10. Run the test. The node is currently running, evaluating different strategies. And there we go. We've got these top posts. Last step, save this node. And there you go. You have this Reddit top posts fetcher node available for you to use. Okay, we've got the MCP node ready. Let's create a full fledged workflow out of this MCP node. Great. So I have a use case of fetching trending posts from different subreddits and those subreddits could be part of your niche. My niche, let's say is AI agency, AI automations. So first thing that I will have to do is create an input list of all the subreddits that I want to track. I'll go to the node library, fetch input, drag and drop, specify all the subreddits that I want to track in this default value. So a bunch of them I want to track. So these are a few names that I want to track. So AI agents, NADN, automate and no code. These are four subreddits that we want to track. I'll change the name of the input. I'll 
call it subreddit okay that's it now this is four subreddits in individual lines now i need to split it so automatically i cannot just simply pass on four subreddits in one single text blob into this node i'll have to turn this text into individual list item so for that we are going to split this text into split this text into a list based on a specific character so that character is going to be new line for us there we go we pass the input and i'll turn on split on new line because every single subreddit is present in a new line that's it when you run it you'll get four different subreddits out of this node and the output of this split text node is going to be passed on to this reddit top post fetcher i'll select the input coming out of the previous node sort by top number of posts that i want this is going to be 10. i want 10 posts out of each of these subreddits save it let's run this and see what we get out of the reddit top post fetcher the mcp node great this is run so let's look at the output i've got four list items so that is four subreddits within each subreddit again if you notice i've got a list of posts coming out of each subreddit so if we want to understand the structure of this data i have the outer list this is denoting the subreddit and within each subreddit i'm getting a list of all the posts so however many posts that i have let's say four five six this is going to be the first subreddit similarly second subreddit third subreddit and fourth subreddit and this is going to be closed out here so second third fourth so the outer list is specifying the subreddit the inner list these are all of my posts coming out of the subreddit so one thing that we'll do is we will turn this entire this is list of list into a text and the process to do this is first of all you turn this list of list into a single list by joining the inner list item that means all the posts that we have within each subreddit will combine them into one single text and further we are going to add another join list item to turn even in this particular list into a text we are doing this so that we can pass this text which is basically json data that we are getting but ai is smart enough to even parse through the rough json that you're getting out of these subreddit nodes okay so we have the text coming out we'll pass it on to ai and then fetch the posts right this is the complete workflow that we have to build out here this is done all we need to do from here on is we'll use the join list item to remove the inner list first of all there we go and here we'll simply select the input coming out of the previous node list of list i'll turn on join by new line only we are not really worried about the json structure currently because we'll be using the ai node after this so again another join list item so everything now coming out of this reddit top post fetcher node this is going to be turned into a single text blob and from here all i need to do is simply use this extract data this extract data node that's it turn on the join by new line here also and here i will simply extract all the data all the posts that we want from this node so content to extract from i'll specify okay this is the content the coming incoming text blob and i'll provide additional context that is extract the fields from the reddit posts data from multiple subreddits and i'll turn on 
this extract list because we are passing on a huge text blob choose the mode of extraction if checked it will extract a list of items and that's what we want there are multiple posts coming out of like you know it would be 40 posts coming out of this 40 or close to 40 and here after this i'll specify the fields that i want to extract so i would have let's say the title field that is coming out of this output so title is text we don't need to specify any description but if you want you can do that so we want title we want to extract the url of that post add another data let's say we want to fetch the content and the content if you see here the content you have author you have score score is the number of upwards so let's capture score score is going to be a number for us then we have number of comments so we'll fetch this particular field as well number of comments is going to be another number that we are extracting and url we've got then we have something called a self text self text is the content coming out of it so we'll fetch self text this is text value for us and that's it We'll use GPT 4.1 mini and if you want you can use GPT 4.1 as well. Okay, we'll use GPT 4.1 for longer context. This is done. I will be able to extract all the data. Okay, now that I have all of these data fields extracted from this extract data node, I'll use the Google Sheets writer node. I have this Google Sheets writer and here I'll use the link. I've created a Google Sheet here with the title, content score, number of comments, URL. That's it. I'll specify the link here. The sheet name is sheet one. And if I connect this, I'll get, okay, I want to add title here, URL here, score here, number of comments, and there's going to be another column. So we'll, first of all, write to column. We'll turn the writer mode to write to column because we're getting all the column values. And lastly, we'll add the URL here. This content needs to change to self text. This is it. And further, if you once you're getting all of these details, you can also extract top posts directly as well from this code right here. So I can also, if you want to generate another thing, I can have another ask AI node and pass on this text blob directly to ask AI node. And I'll use GPT 4.1 here as well. The prompt in this case, let's pass on the data first. So these are top subreddit posts from AI automation uh, niche. And I'll specify, look at the top posts from these subreddits below and generate uh, an insightful report on trends and trends and interesting topics for which people need automations okay so keep it concise and capture it in bullet points that's it this is done finally i can use a google docs writer here also we can create a new google doc quickly this is going to be my complete post i'll just read it report this is done save this finally anyone with link editor access copy link this is done get back here in show more options i'll use use an existing document pass on the link here this is done insert content at the start we can do that as well all right and we'll also add a date time 
so that we know which dates report this is so this is we can select day month here we can pass on the report content as well as the name so we'll say report from and then i can fetch the custom data format and finally the report will come in here this is done content format most of these models return report in markdown format so i'm writing the google document as well in markdown format this is all done for me save this now we will run it again for the final output to be seen within the google sheet and the reddit report that we have created all right let's see how this runs we are fetching the posts now using the mcp node this is pretty amazing google docs has given some error let's see what that error is so while while connecting this so link did not work here uh instead content i'll just pick the folder so i have this gumloop docs i'll select this folder go back gumloop docs select this is done insert content uh we'll do that and this report we will title this report from this is done i'll resume resume from here this should give us link to this google document that we are writing you don't have permission to move files from yours uh let's see okay uh i'll select hersha.bc this is the account so wrong credentials i'll just run it again so google documents a report is getting written and we'll have okay there we go we have got the report this is the doc link i'll just copy this open up all right here you go strong demand for automation and content creation and research phone voice automation and screening horizontal workflow orchestration so they're they've given like a detailed report of all the insights from this niche and i'll start extracting all of these posts within the sheet as well so you can see the extract data node is currently running we have extract data there's some debugging that we had to do with google docs but beyond that i think this was all right lovely and there we go i have got all of these posts here in my google sheet all the posts along with their score number of comments url all of these are available now with us and that's it this is how you can just use mcp to behave and create custom nodes with plain english it's it's becoming easier i would say that there's still like a long way to go i had to debug this you know a multiple times to get it to work and try to understand but it's like you know prompting the system to uh, get the node to behave in a certain way it requires still some amount of time to get this right but it's it's a step in the right direction because we'll reach a stage where no code automation will become a thing people would want to connect multiple tools multiple things together and it, and we're seeing that but to make it easier so that i can just you know create nodes out of plain english that i feel is the next unlock we are moving in that direction gumlook has taken the first step in terms of uh, introducing these mcp based nodes and i'm excited to see what's coming ahead uh, they are adding a bunch of mcp based nodes uh, uh, for integrating different types of applications within gumlook so that's it if you want to get this template head over to the school community link is in the description i'll catch you guys in the next one don't forget to like and comment uh what you're thinking about these mcp based notes